this is Alex and I am a cloud customer success advocate with CAD Dimensions. And in this video, we're going to give you a walkthrough of the share and markup tools available with 3D Experience Cloud Services, now included with new SolidWorks license options. These new features make it easier than ever to share CAD with anyone. Using a link created from within SolidWorks, users can share full CAD files in a variety of different downloadable formats, which are accessible from a browser-based tool that allows annotations, markups, drawings, comments, and more. All that is required to access these files is the 3D Experience ID, which is easy and free to create. Get started. Once installed and enabled, the new sharing tools will be accessible right from within the SOLIDWORKS program. After launching SOLIDWORKS, we need to enable and access the Lifecycle and Collaborations tab in the Command Manager. This can be done by right-clicking one of the tabs, navigating to the tab's options in the menu, and checking Lifecycle and Collaborations to activate. Once activated, select the tab in the Command Manager and find the Share a File feature. Before clicking, check the drop-down menu and make sure the right file format is selected. To get the most flexibility and security out of sharing and markup features, Users should always use the 3D XML format unless they are intending to send a specific downloadable format. 3D XML will let you view, measure, and annotate 3D models without giving access to the original design, which will protect your company's IP. 3D XML is the lightweight format for shorter load times while maintaining the exact 3D geometry needed. Once the necessary file type is selected, click Share a File. This will start the process of converting the file and saving it to your 3D drive in a folder called Shared with External. Then, a dialog should pop up with the following options. First will be the option to activate an external sharing link, which allows anyone with the link to access the files with read-only permissions. Below that is a button to copy that same link to your clipboard. Next, you can enable guest comments and optionally restrict access to specific users. Once this dialog is closed, your 3D Drive folder should open automatically in your My Session 3D Experience taskbar. By right-clicking the file in this menu, you can access the share options, including that same URL link. Now, from the side of the user who receives the link, when they paste the URL into their browser or follow the link sent to them via email, they will first be prompted to log in with their 3D Experience ID. If they don't have one, they have the option to create one for free. Once logged in, the markup tool will load and give the user access to a 3D view of the model which can be rotated and manipulated using some of the same controls used within SOLIDWORKS. At the bottom of the viewer is a toolbar with two different tabs, View and Tools. The first tab is View, which has the View and Environment Manipulation tools. The Fit in All icon will zoom out and orient the model to make sure all components are within the view window. The Pan rotate, and zoom tools all allow you to move about the environment and model. The standard views icon will bring the CAD model forward and allow you to flip between different standard views using the on-screen icons. Lastly, the view modes icon lets you modify the current view using the predefined view modes. You can also apply default or predefined appearances to your objects and change the current scene ambience. Moving over to the tools tab, you have the Hide and Show icon, which will allow you to hide and show selected components. Next, the Explode tool breaks out the assemblies and sub-assemblies to reveal their inner parts, dragging the slider or using the arrows to control the exploded amplitude. After that, we have the measure tool, which allows you to take a variety of different measurements. Note that only one measurement can be taken at a time. The clipping icon and included extended menu starts the ability to create clippings, also known as cross sections, to view a slice representation of a part or assembly. The annotation icon allows some different types of markups utilizing a freehand drawing tool with customizable colors. Lastly, the text annotation icon will allow you to place text boxes and fill them with different notes and questions.
After utilizing some of the different tools here, you also have the ability to share your markups as a comment. When you share as a comment, the program takes a 3D snapshot of the model in the view you have it, with all the annotations and notes surrounding it. It places this into a comment for the file, where you can add additional notes and tag other users before posting. Once posted, others with the same share link can see those comments and react to them as well. All of these tools are waiting to be utilized in your installation of SolidWorks with cloud services. These share tools are extremely valuable and can help to expedite projects, keep stakeholders in the loop, and allow non-CAD users to be part of the decision-making process.